So I'm Nathan Phillips and I spoke as a climate scientist who knows about the problems with methane and natural gas, um, but I really actually spoke uh, from the heart as a parent and as an educator. And it was, it was a necessity for us to go and do what we did because we found out that Spectra did not have a safety plan and does not have a safety plan against explosions that puts the community at risk and a climate safety plan that puts the children of West Roxbury and future generations at risk. So that's why I stepped in and, and did what I did. This matter is not over. Justice wasn't served and we're still on trial. My generation is on trial. Our, my students are demanding to know why my generation isn't doing more, isn't actually joining them in their leadership to move more aggressively to the renewable energy that we need to have. So I'm going forward. I'm joining with Mary Boyle as she steps out of West Roxbury and stands with the people of Weymouth in their battle against the compressor station there. With the people in Rehoboth, in Freetown, in Acousnet, in Lowell, in the Back Bay, uh, in New Orleans, in the Carolinas. Every single fossil fuel pipeline project is contested, will be contested going forward. I'm so humbled, honored, and in, um, inspired by my co-defendants here and I'm going to devote the rest of my life to um, to making sure that we move in the direction we need to with, with, with clean energy.